to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much everyone for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel i appreciate all of the love and support that you guys have showed me here on youtube thank you so 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 much okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a structure i think i should call it is actually a gong sleeve i i just i, I actually created this name <laughs> so if you know what it is called please drop it on the comment section for me i would want to know so i so i decided to call it a structured gong sleeve you know structure sounds very classy structured gong sleeve okay so that's what we are going to be doing it's a very simple sleeve but the sleeve at least you will know from the picture you know it is a classy sleeve as if you if you are those people if you don't have class the truth is you cannot pull up this kind of sleeve this sleeve is meant for classy ladies that's just like the truth as in people that have class uh -huh. <laughs> that's true people that can pull up fashion not just conventional mm -mm. This one is for classy ladies. So that's what we're going to be doing. A structured sleeve. A structured gong sleeve. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I have my fabric already here. I'm going to be making it of about one and a half yard of fabric for this sleeve. And then I have interfacing. This is strong gum stay that we're going to be using. So you know definitely there's something that entered into that sleeve that make it stand like that. So I'm using strong gum stay. You can use peplum stay, but I will not recommend hair stay because hair stay is a little bit soft. So you can use the peplum stay also or a paper gum to stand more. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Ninja YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. That's the essence of hitting on the bell. Okay, so if you want to register for my online classes, you could see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the details of the available classes. Okay, so let's just get started. So earlier on, I just made a little draft with my pattern paper. So you could see it is it really came out well. You see, it, it really came out well. Let me just put it on the table so you, you can see it. So you see it came out beautifully well. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm making use of my... I'm going to drop directly on my fabric, but I'm just going to show you how to do this with the pattern paper. And then you see how easy it is to do this sleeve. Okay, so if you are going to be drafting on your pattern paper, so I'm just going to do a little fast draft for you to see how this sleeve is actually done. So you see my pattern paper is folded into two. So from this point, you're just going to mark we are using the you are just going to mark how your armhole and then remember your armhole if you see the top of the sleeve you know it's actually pleated so you are going to include that to the length of what you are doing so for instance this is my nine inches so what i'm going to do this is okay let me say this is nine inches so i'm going to add about two or three inches that i'm going to pleat so that two or three inches is going to be here and then from this point we're going to drop the sleeve with our regular five inches that's for the armhole there. So from that five inches, I'm just going to take my curve like this. So you could use your pattern curve because I don't want it really round. So you just take a pattern curve like this and then you, you just take it to your five inches like this. So once you get to this part, so from this part now, the next thing I'm going to do from this part, I'm going to mark, mark it like this. So you see what I have now on this part. So this part, I'm not going to leave it. It's not going to be sharp like this. So you are going to blend it in a little bit. So this, from this point now to this point, that's where your armhole is going to be. You are going to pleat this top part. So once you pleat this top part, what is remaining here, from here to here, that's where you fix. And then this part you are going to join. So you see the slant is looking like what we have already on the picture. So I'll just cut it out for you to see. So you place that part and then you fix from this part to this part so you see how it is looking so that's just basically what i'm going to be doing here right now okay so i'm going to show you how i made it now so just like i explained on the from the little one with made with our paper 
So you could see it's already shaped out here. So I'm going to explain first of all, my fabric is folded into four and then I have my fabric is folded into four and then the width of the fabric I folded at 14 inches. So you see 14 inches and then the length of the sleeve and I folded my fabric on 18, that's for the length. So the sleeve is going to be like 16 inches. So the two inches I'm going to use to fold it. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark that point that I told you, like I said. I'm going to take this point like this. My armhole is actually nine inches. So this is the nine inches for my armhole. And then I'm going to add three inches for pleats that I'm going to use to pleat on this top part. So I have it here. So what I'm going to do now from this point, I'm just going to mark up to this point. So I'm just going to do this. So you could see the way the curve is. You could know if you notice. If you note, you see this part is a little bit sharp, a little bit sharp, and then gets to this point. So now I know that this is where my armhole, this whole part now is my armhole. And then from this part now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my curve like this because it's really not straight. And then I'm going to just mark, mark it down. So I'm using 13 inches from this point to where I'm, I'm marking that's the width of my sleeve on this part is 13 inches. So on this part, I'm just going to blend, blend this part. Just blend it in like this. So you see what I have at the end of the day. So this is how simple this is. So we're going to cut out now. I want you to know, to see the shape it is slanting on the down part. That is what we actually give it that part. So this part now, so once we pleat now, like this. So you see the sleeve already is looking like what we have on the picture. But the next thing is you need it to be well structured, you need it to, to be strong. So I'm going to cut out, so I have two pieces I'm going to cut out the line now for this. Okay, so you see I finished cutting, I finished cutting both of them. So I have four pieces here. I'm going to use one to turn the other. So this is my lining and then this is my original piece. So what I'm going to do now, this you can do it in two ways. You can decide to iron the, the your interfacing, that's your strong gun stay on both the fabric and the lining that will give it a more standing effect but for this i'm just going to iron on my fabric alone so i'm not going to iron on the lining so i'll go and iron it and then after ironing i'll i'm going to show you how to stitch it so let me just keep it let me just show you so i'll do everything at once so you see my sleeve is open is open like this So you put a notch, I actually forgot to. So you put a notch here so you will know that that's the handhold point. So after ironing my interfacing, I might go on it. I'm going to take it back to my machine and then I'm going to stitch it this way. I'm going to sew from this point to this point like this. And then I'm going to turn the sleeve. So the armhole part, I'm not going to turn. There are some people, they actually don't sew this part. So it depends on how you normally sew the side of your sleeve. If you are the one that usually don't sew, so you can decide to leave it. So I'm just going to turn it like this on this side and then I'll flip it over and then come back and show you how it is looking like. Okay, so you could see now I finished stitching. I've turned them and then I've ironed it down. So like I said, you can double the interface so you can add here also. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it like this. And then this is my notch point. So what I'm going to do after folding, I'm just going to take it back to my machine and then I'll stitch from here to this point using half of an inch. And then you remember the three inches that I added on this part. So I'm just going to mark it out. And then from this part, I'm going to pleat this part like this. I'll just pleat it together. Just stitch it and then I'll stitch this part and then come back and show you how it is looking. Okay, so you could see at the end of the day, so you see how our structure sleeve, our structure gong sleeve is looking like. So it actually came out very beautiful. So you see 
how it is standing so you could just take a good look at it so you see this part that i pleated and you see how it is looking at the end of the day this is your armhole this is where you are going to fix your armhole and then this part is just going to be standing like this okay so you can see at the end of the day this is how our structured gum sleeve look like it actually came out very beautiful well so if you find this tutorial helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to let me know you appreciate what i did with this video so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video